Right, I made a video a few weeks ago and it was called Prehistoric Egypt and I tried proving to you, showing you something completely new that no one's shown before uh, about how the pyramids, especially Giza, the Bent Pyramid and probably the Red Pyramid and other things, how they were built and they're built like this across the entire world. Uh, probably the original, but I was showing you anyway how it was more than just, you know, perfectly placed blocks like, uh, you know, to within a hair's width blocks, yeah. Just placed on top of each other is far more than that, right? far far more than that uh, I'm gonna have to show you it again because after making that video a friend of mine anyway ended up sharing some pictures about 94 images of the Medum pyramid uh, probably to show that that's not built like that but so what I think it's a later structure anyway and I'm gonna show that this is gonna have to be in part two because the video you know, the, the image is in part two what it just actually meant to be it and I've just found more since and I'm going to have to start with this but anyway it's like yeah, you know like the H blocks yeah in Peru uh, how, you know, each level are just huge pieces yeah that slot in, into each other these are just probably broken or they were like that but that connects to that you know that's not just a piece that is one block and it will set right back yeah and now they miss a space and that all these eventually end up being uh, the casing stones yeah you know these blocks are the casing stones right the whole thing as well all of them have been rebuilt on many a times yeah I think major building work went on in the antediluvian world because they were very advanced and they, you know, were probably nearly as advanced as the pre-diluvian world, right? <laughs> nearly. Uh, but anyway, I'm showing you this kind of stuff. And this guy is a right bastard. He's done so much damage, right, to our history. This prick here he's salt and hid and destroyed all sorts i mean the fact that he's stood in front of this thing here right when you think about how they go on about how, how they go on about how this was built is completely impossible and ridiculous anyway right you can look around and see what the egyptians did and how they built right they were primitive people just like anybody else in the world at that time and there were humans and we're little just look at this thing behind him right it's like these things stick into this it's like all the all them holes in peru yeah them square holes with a little ridge is what this kind of stuff goes into this was a casing stone right you know the brick and then something or another one slots in there Boom, goes up to there, up to buffers, right, and then comes round here. And it's the same with them all, I'm telling you. That is not a break. It goes right the way through with the in every single level. It is so advanced, right? It's more advanced than anything we're doing today on an unbelievable scale, I'm telling you. And more precise. There's no need we don't build to this precision right there's no need to but they did again what I'm showing you it's everywhere right this is the Great Pyramid there's been a lot of rebuilding work on here as well okay But all these were casing stones. That's the top of the uh, other pyramid at Giza, yeah. You know, the one that, that's still got the casing stones on the top, yeah. Because, you know, these blocks are casing stones. They just go through, look at it, you can see. 
it's it's an unbelievable thing it's like lego you know it's lego and every single level is absolutely level all the way across spirit level level you know because that's the you know that's the type of technology you need to make this stuff yeah laser transits and spirit levels rebar structures and you know high technology machine shop stuff to be able to do this this is it again and you can see it's all over this is a side of the bent pyramid you get a better idea of what I'm trying to show you because this were built by the same in the same era right? all these blocks it's the same the slotting to each other like Lego boom and the slotting and these end up being casing stones it's not a casing of just blocks placed on blocks to encase it no it's far more than that that's another view these images are on my google page if you want to check them out and I've also said and proved that the entire Giza plateau all of it much of Egypt in fact is completely artificial it goes down for hundreds and hundreds of meters it's not just the pyramid that's built like that the pyramid yes it's the floor right and it's not just because then they laid it no a path this goes down like this and down and down and down okay see what I'm getting at this black stuff was laid later I think in the antediluvian era right because they could mold basalt and things yeah we can't do that but this I mean look I've even shown that it's got holes in it yeah where rebar was right because it's a rebar structure but this stuff goes down for hundreds of meters there's an entire city that's buried underground right most of the sand right is eroded concrete that's why it's got rubble all over it look at it right this was done in the antediluvian world it was, and it, you know this is a replacement these are just blocks placed on here I'm just showing you how these things were built but just look here right there's so much hidden here it's beyond belief guys and I'm saying that that's why the top of the so-called King's Chamber is like it is yeah because of what I've just been showing you this small pyramid was an effort I get I say again I just look there's probably I think there's been loads of areas on this world right loads of experiments yeah we're just the latest uh, but again these are just a casing and it's actually granite uh, we don't know how they've done this but there's an older structure inside here there's an older structure inside here and this has been put over it this is not original this is just laid blocks this smaller pyramid okay Uh, this is the mud pyramid yes at Saqqara I don't know who's done this this could have been the Egyptians but it's built over an older structure right and there's an even older structure inside that right that probably goes underground for, again for hundreds of meters I've shown what's inside here you know massive megalithic high precision machine blocks and then there's this thing built on the corner I will show it at the end and then you've got this thing on top like a mud brick type of style yeah that had a smothering over it this is the other huge eroded mud brick pyramid and then there's the similar structure that it's built over right to what I've just shown you that's built on the corner of that last pyramid 
But then there's another area inside that's huge megalithic blocks. I'll get into in part two, right? Part two is going to be mainly about this pyramid. Because this is what he shared the Im images on, those 98 images, right? Probably because he was upset at what I tried to show you there at the start. I don't know who did this. Oh, yeah. But this hole here, there's holes around the side, and it actually looks like this was technology that went in here, right? It, because whatever's done this has completely blown this side out. I mean, these blocks are completely smashed, right? And this is high up. It, it has been whacked by some weapon. It has. Right? I think this is last image. This is the same pyramid I've just shown you. And look. It's a thin smothering of something, and it's not built the same way, right? That's what I've been showing. But the structure inside it, what it's built over, is <laughs> no different to the Great Pyramid and the chambers inside. I, I'll show you in, in part two. That's it from a distance. Right, these holes, there's one on all three sides, and then you got the hole. These things, have, it's, it's been shot at, this thing, oh, it's blown out, the, you know, the technology is blown out. But there's the same type of stuff built across here, you know, human sized blocks here, uh, on top of all older structures. Uh, I'll just show you this. Right, yeah, these two. Right, so that mud brick pyramid here, yeah. the step pyramid at Saqqara, is there is an older, like, uh, you know, not megalithic, right? So I don't even know who did that. I don't know who did this. But it's, it's like a long shaped pyramid. It actually looks like a sphinx. You know, like I've got into the Sphinx. It wasn't originally a Sphinx. It just eroded blocks. Well, this actually looks like the exact same type of thing. And this thing is built over that. But there's an older structure than that inside, underground. And the smaller pyramid that I was talking about, that there's an older structure inside, is exactly that. That's what I'm talking about. That is different to this stuff. And it's more precise and it's a different colour and it's not just because it's being covered up. Right. 